You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building with us today. Goes by the name of Trevor Jackson. What up, bro? How you doing? What's going on, sir? Good, nothing, man. Chilling, chilling. I got, I got freezing, a freezing out here. New York is kind of cold. <laughs> I got a question for me. What's up? Straight out the bat. American Crime. Did you rape the boy? I can't answer that. Now, if you don't Except watch American watch. Crime, watch. he plays basketball for a basketball team, and him and his uh, his teammates allegedly. I'm glad raped you this said boy. American Crime, and you didn't just ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> did you rape that boy? <laughs> did you rape that boy? <laughs> <laughs> but I've been trying to figure out if, if, if you raped the boy, if your friend raped the boy, if you helped, if you did anything involved. It's gonna have to watch, man. I'll get in trouble if I say anything. But I'm, ex bro. Actually, the crazy thing is when we were shooting that show. From episode five on, we didn't get table reads. We didn't get scripts. Like, all really? I got was my side. So when I'm watching, I don't know what's happening with the other people. So I've been watching, like, everybody else. Like, damn, what that happened to? Like, it's been getting crazy. So, uh, yeah, man, that was John Ridley's creative genius. Didn't want nobody to know before they got on set. There was one scene, actually, it aired already, one of the scenes where I had to read the document. I, they blacked that whole thing out, and I had to read it, like, fresh on set when the camera's rolling. They were like, and they kept switching the papers out. So it was so it was new. So it, makes it was it more different. Real, huh? Exactly, it was different. But I liked it. It Pushed me, you know, as an actor. And Do you have dope. a problem with that part at all? Because I mean, the first three episodes, it makes it seem like you raped the boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, this guy didn't rape the boy. <laughs> and then you know, sometimes people get characters confused with real life. Yeah, and they might see you. Well, like, I don't think they'll get, they'll get that one confused. <laughs> I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty silent in where I stand and uh, on that on that tip. But um, no, man, it, it was cool. It definitely was hard in terms of acting. You know, what I'm saying that definitely was pushed it was to hard play. during that time. Uh, Shut yeah, it was definitely, uh, you know, just pushed me to a different place. I had to access a different mental space. So it was now, tight, though. Andre 3000 is your dad. Oh, bro. In, in American Crime. How I was working with Andre 3000. I was still tripping out, dog, to this day. I actually just, we, we were watching the Super Bowl over, over at his uh, DJ's house just for the, the Super Bowl. And then we had a Grammy party. And it was just, it's crazy, man. He's like an uncle, Uncle Andre now. It's super dope, man. And he, uh, very supportive on the acting side and the music side. I played him some music, and he was like, damn, I didn't know you. So I'm, I'm just thankful, man, to be around people that I look up to and that inspire me to be better, and he's definitely one of those guys. And when it comes to being, I feel like a lot of people in this day and age, when they get to certain levels, they forget why they're there, and they, they start thinking it's about them, and it gets right. very selfish. And I feel like he's one person that I've seen. I don't care like where he's at, bro. He'll stop to take a picture of anybody. One scene we had to do a basketball scene and there was like a hundred extras there mm -hmm. and they all wanted to take pictures. He was like, hold on y'all. Went to his trailer, changed, came back, took pictures of everybody. Wow. That's funny because my That's friends yeah. just took some pictures with Andre 3000. Everybody has it on their Instagram. I guess <laughs> they were all at a party and everyone they yeah. said swarming him for pictures. That's what we were at. Because they never see him. You never see him. That's why. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's like a ghost. Except he's if you go to Whole Foods, he goes there like a Whole Foods a lot. <laughs> if you need him more, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Did you push up um, for a, a feature yet or something? Yeah, no. I've actually sent him a whole bunch of records, and he's listening to them now. He was like, yeah, man, anything you want? He said, shoot it over. Mm -hmm. I was like, I opened up a verse. He was like, got you. I was like, that's crazy. Man. Now, how, how did you start? How did you get in the industry? Did you start off as an actor or did you start off? Because I know you you tap dance on the Apollo. Yeah, that's actually how it started, bro. Tap dancing when I was three years old. Really? I started tapping. Then uh, I remember Gregory Hines was the dude. That I didn't I know anybody tap dancing before. <laughs> I started as a tap dancer. Don't tell nobody. Are you for real? I started as a tap dancer. Hey, Stop that's it, where it is. That's, where it. On that's what it is, bro. I was bro. a tap dancer as You were a kid. the tap dancer? Yeah. Yes, I was a tap dancer. That's my awesome. mom put me in tap. <laughs> You're a good man. And I was a tap dancer. Wait, show us something. You gotta show us a pair, a pair hey, little stomp or something. You can tell he used to tap. I don't know if he used to tap, but that that, that, that I don't know if he ever did that step ever. Um, so I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. So it's that's where amazing. it started at, man. Yeah, I was three years old. I was competing everywhere, and then I did Lion King for like three years, and that kind of just, you know, I was acting, singing, dancing on that on Broadway. So you doing were Simba. That, yeah. So doing that kind of just prepared me for the rest of my life. You know, when I go on tour, right. when I'm, you know, always having to be on the go. So. That definitely helped prepare what's going on now, and you know, I got signed when I was 15. But it was a little kid that Gregory Hines always used to bring out. You wasn't that kid, right? Uh, no, no, you're talking about, uh, I think he used to bring out Savion Glover all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Savion, he's like 40 something now. He's yeah. dope, Why bro. would he be bringing I don't know, I thought he was a little <laughs> he kid. He said, I, I would have been, I'd be, I I'd be 40 right, right now, bro. <laughs> 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 I didn't see anybody. No, bro, he's dope, though, man. Savion Glover is a, is a beast. <laughs> now, let's talk about um, what you have going on musically. Okay. You know, and acting at the same time. So yep. do you feel like the two <clears throat> things are really working hand in hand, like people are seeing you? Because I know sometimes it's hard to make that transition. I feel like the funniest thing is that people who know me as an actor don't know I sing, and mm -hmm. then people who know that I sing don't know that I act. So I feel like now <clears throat> it's starting to come together and people are starting to put the face with the name and it's making more sense. But 
to me, man, I just feel like I just want to use everything I got. You know, when I'm here, we got one life, so might as well just do everything what I can. What do you think people know you more for? It depends. It's weird. Like right? it is. Weird. It's weird. I'm telling you, cause like over here on the on the uh, East Coast, it's more music. Like when I see people, they're like, "Oh, you the singer?" But when I'm in LA or you know different places, like, "Oh, you's from uh, you know TV." You know, so it just yeah, cause I didn't know you sing. Yeah. You know? when, they, when they called me, they was like Trevor Jackson. I'm like, uh, I was like, it's too early for the Breakfast Club. <laughs> was like he's an American crime. I said the boy that almost raped the boy. <laughs> I said yeah. That's the, show. <laughs> the boy that almost. Raped. Then when they sent me the music, I was like, oh, his music is dope. He has like a, a I hate to put this pressure on you, but it's like a Michael Jackson cadence. Like you're, you're very high pitched. Uh, occasionally, yeah, yeah. You can say that. He loves Michael Jackson. But would I you, love Michael. Yeah, would you play Michael Jackson in a movie? I don't think I would do that. No. I feel like you would never be able to live after that as an actor and doing anybody like that, you know? Mm. Think about all the dudes that play Michael, man. It's just, yeah. it's never, it's never went well after yeah, that. Never went well <laughs> after that. <laughs> Think about the dude in that seven hour movie that played him. Like, I've never seen him in anything else <laughs> ever in my it's life. It's a curse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sad, curse. bro, but it's like, you know, that's what you take on when you got to play the king, man. And then we also know you as half of a very, the youngest power couple probably ever. Power, no, couple? With, Who's he dating? Zendaya. Oh, I'm not, Zendaya's I'm not, he's gonna I'm say not, he's not. She's not, that's not my girl. That's my home girl. Oh, okay. We'll put the home in front of but the But I girl. love Zendaya. You know what I'm saying, home girl. I love Zendaya. No, she's you know awesome, people. bro. Talented, man. Super dope. That's, that's, one, that's the one you keep. You hold that. You don't mess that up. Don't you go, mess with her mom. If I okay, catch you like in the club <laughs> flipping, I'm going to tell on you. You better not do anything. <laughs> what are you talking That is my homie. All right. She, you know, she's going to help me out. You can tell by his facial expression. Absolutely. The real deal. Tell what? Tell what? <laughs> now, you got you dropped the, you, the, the video comes out when? Valentine's Day? The Val video comes out Valentine's here I, Day. Here I come. Now, in the video, here I come, It's you're having a problem You uh, with a girl. Yeah. A and her mom is failing you. I wouldn't call it a problem, but, you know, uh, a great a problem, it's sir. a great situation, you know, that to be in. Okay. That is not a great situation. Why not? You think so? Yes. So you're dating? So you're telling me if you had a daughter and I came over, you and... No, not that's my. That's disgusting. That's okay. So if my daughter, look at her face. You see her facial expression now. If though. my you see, daughter like, is dating somebody... Should I flirt with my daughter's boyfriend? That's Sometimes you don't have a control with who you flirt with, though. Sometimes your body's just yes, like, ah. Yes, you do. You she have got control. naked in the kind of video, so she did have a little bit of control. towel. Goodness gracious. Uh, and was, you have to admit, so now in a situation like that, let's say you're dating a young lady. Yeah. And her mom is coming on to you and doing all this. She took your shirt off and everything. Mm, she was trying to help clean something, you know. Right, right. She spilled um, something on the shirt. Would you tell your girlfriend? <laughs> what would I tell her? Would you tell her? You know, your mom... <laughs> grab my crotch I think it depends how serious I was with the person you know what I'm saying if I'm thinking about possibly being with her forever then yeah I'm gonna be like yo you know your mom was doing a little extra and I just think you should know cause I want you to think that I'm you know right. you'd have to say that you but if it's somebody that you know I've just happened to go over there and her mom and her mom may be better than her you know you never know well a mom could put you on to a lot of, a lot of things maybe the daughter can't you, you know what I'm saying you can learn yes. sometimes we wanna learn we don't wanna teach all the time now for instance right oh my you're a young man yeah this is something that we talk about frequently. Do you listen to The Breakfast Club? Yes, absolutely. So you know what we're about to talk sure. about? Eating. <laughs> he said, so you know what we're about to talk about. Now, Her mom okay. did that do you, you indulge in, in ass eating? I do not. He's no, he's you never, young. You never ate the booty? Not currently, no. Not no, currently? No, <laughs> no, not currently. I mean, it, but it depends. Like, you know, I'm, I feel like there's a caliber of women that you would probably do just about anything. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. If that's who you... So you haven't eaten the booty yet? No. Not as yet. Haven't, haven't, haven't found one that deserves the booty eating. But you're no. not against it. <laughs> well, no. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fresh out the shower, you clean, you know what I'm saying? Everything's now, clean. what about the other way? That's your person. What about the no, other way? No, 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 no. So you never, you never tried? No, You would no. never try? I would never try, bro. I get, I get don't mad try, if don't, hands don't get too try. close to my cheeks. Like, just don't even go. Well, that's girls testing it out. Yeah, but I don't, yeah, that. they know. She's testing I to see, like, nip it is right he going to like this? And then if he does like that, I could take it a step further. No, no, no. Don't take it a step further. I mean, you will lose a finger. <laughs> you will lose a damn, I will bite the <laughs> up. I will bite the finger off. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, with, with, with new music now, tell us about this new project that you got coming out. Yo, bro. Um, well, actually, I just put out the In My Feelings mixtape, and it mm -hmm. has Kevin Gates, Mr. Cool, everybody on there. And I was just, you know, that was kind of... Miss, what made you decide I'm mystical? I love mystical. mystical. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of mystical. And I feel like, you know, he's modern day James Brown and the way he be delivering. And I, even when I wanted to put on my record, people were like, no, you need to get somebody young. Like, young thug. I said, no, I want mystical on this song. You must have grown up listening to mystical. Yeah, he's dope, bro. And I was like, I want him on this song. And I know he'd kill it. And he definitely did. And this whole project was basically just me kind of coming into my own. Because, you know, I got signed when I was very young. Right. Listened to a lot of people, had a lot of opinions. And I had to grow up as a man, which for 
forced me to grow as an artist. And then, you know, I just started writing. And me and my brother pretty much wrote uh, most of the records on in my feelings. I'm thankful to Delonte and Short for understanding the vision and allowing me to come into my own as a as an artist. So, yeah, man, I'm excited about that. The new music I got coming out is called Right to Speak. And that's kind of representing the same thing because I feel like this day and age, people are so judgmental. And I feel like that's why American Crime kind of speaks to that, too. You know, it shows you different aspects of people's life. And for this right to speak thing, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to have the right to be able to do If I want to do a pop song, then I want to do a trap song. And I want to do a country. Like, because of the color of my skin, I can't do it. But right. all of Justin Bieber, Adele, anybody can do any type of music they want, you know. Now, you, so you mentioned like, Delonte. Delonte, I went to college with Delonte. And, oh, you did? Yeah. And, How was that? Did you Are you a Kappa? Also? Am I a Kappa? No, yeah. I'm not oh, okay. A, oh, now, okay. funny story about yeah, that. He did, <laughs> he did try to be a Kappa. My grades was messed up. You didn't up. get in? My he didn't get in. My grades was my grades, uh, man. I don't know what happened. You just should have but whatever you did. I, you I tried to do it, but it didn't work. But now that I know you tap dance, you would have actually probably been great with the cane and tap dance. Shut Yeah, you would have killed it. I used to practice with the cane on the law. I used to practice with the cane. But we're not talking about that. So now, Delonte and Troy, of course, they were the founders and and, and they work with Trey, Trey songs, songs early signed. on. Yep. So is there any pressure because, you know, Trey is so huge, he's such a big artist, and I know Delonte and Troy will work you to death. I feel like I'm very different from uh, Trey, which I feel like kind of relieves some of the pressure. And I feel like they understand the vision and they understand that it's a different path. So I feel like we're all kind of, it's kind of new to us because, you know, what they did for Trey, they can't do for me because I'm a completely different, you know, being. So I feel like we're all on this learning curve, but the the, the vibe and the synergy is great. and. I love I love the group I'm working with. One thankful. good thing about him is it took him a minute to get Trey popping, so yeah. they stayed with their artists. So you yeah, know, you know what I'm saying. Work hard, work, man. They still got you. Exactly. Now, and that's what, what it's about. Coming into the game at, at an age like around 15, 16, <laughs> getting signed, and then people grow with you, but then your music subject matter kind of yeah, feel like it, it changes because people Absolutely. look at you first, like okay, he's young, but then all of a sudden you hit 18, 19, and you're like, okay, now I have to change my image. I feel like for me it was never a, a matter of trying to change it was just being honest with the situations that i was currently in you know what i'm saying and as i grew up it never was like oh, i gotta write a song so people take me seriously like yo what what do we do so you can't you know what i'm saying or like what do we and i just try and be very real and people i feel like people of any age if you've been my age before you know what i'm talking about and I, that's what i really strive to do when i'm writing music is to make music that people can be like oh i get that or oh i've been there or, oh i feel that you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's the goal really. now, now you mentioned super bowl when you came in here early and yeah. of course beyonce killed it but a lot oh, of people yeah. are mad about beyonce's uh performance and her message in this new song what do you feel about it uh i feel like she did what she had to do man and she's beyonce she can't do no wrong in my eyes man she's mm -hmm. beyonce you know i love her mm -hmm. And what about you and Diggy Simmons? You guys have a great relationship. Y'all got beef? No, that's oh, my bro. Yeah, they have beef. Oh, <laughs> you just making sure now. No, that's the homie. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I definitely want to get back in the studio with him or do something. But um, yeah, we just both both been grinding, man. You I'll never asked him to hook you up with his sister or nothing like that with Angela? No, nah, no. Nah, I don't, you know, if I wanted to do that, I'm sure I would just you know, do that myself. <laughs> I would ask him beforehand. You, you know, would go to DMs? Or I would be respectful. I would be like, you know, I see her at events like, here and there. You know, right. Go up to her. I think Zendaya would be a little mad if he did that, though. I don't think she would. <laughs> look at it, girl, look at face, I, look at I'm look sorry. At Listen, uh, people do want to see y'all together. It would be like the ultimate. Power it's hilarious, couple. bro. It's like it, it doesn't stop. But I, I can understand why we're together all the time. She's my homie. It's rare, you know, to have a very, very attractive homegirl not be with her. You never yeah. kissed or any, You guys never <laughs> kissed or anything? Huh? You never kissed? Nah, nah. Who knows though, man? Maybe I haven't. You tried. He lying. That's my homie, man. Yeah, but it has to get to a point where it's like this is no longer my homie. She's pretty. She's your age. She's rich. I think Zendaya is phenomenal. She's I was cute. excited. She's, dope. she's smart. Yeah. That's a good shot to shoot. She's super dope. But right, bro, you're you know, my son. That's man, why I'm shooting. I'm just not caring about nothing. You know. What I'm, I'm just saying. saying. <laughs> I'm just. You know. I'm not in a position to be there right now. I got a lot of things to focus on. Now. Mm -hmm. you, know, you feel like stay. you have to be single now? I don't feel like I have to. I just feel like if I'm gonna be in a relationship, I have to respect the woman enough to know that I gotta give her what I need to give her, and I don't feel like I can do that right now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, who knows? One day, you know, grow up into a, a nice young man that I want to be in. Do you get crazy DMs? All the time, yeah. Like, what's the craziest type? You get a I lot mean, of naked pictures, you get a lot of stuff. I Snapchat. mean, the naked, naked things come quite often. Uh, Do you ever respond? No. Nah. Like, I like your tattoo on it. You know. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> you know why? Because there's a thing that exists called the screenshot. The screenshot. And I would never do that. Well, let me ask you a question. Now that you allegedly raped the guy in America. Got it. <laughs> allegedly. Do you get any penis pictures? I'm sure a lot of dudes. I'm not going to lie to you. I've gotten one, and I was kind of <laughs> mad as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I 
I'm sorry. Joking. He really did. I'm sorry, bro. I did. I was like, come on, man. I opened it. You'd be so mad when you open it. I tried to hit the X, bro. I was like, ah, oh, damn. I'll be a double tap by accident. I <laughs> Go get it out of here. Uh, oh, man. I remember that. I was like, oh, my goodness. That scarred me, bro. <laughs> the no. next time a guy sends a penis pic, make sure you send one uh, a video tap dancing naked. <laughs> tap naked <laughs> back to him. <laughs> really get his attention. Oh uh, shoot! So what are we getting the album? When is the album coming out? Album. Um. Well, I mean, for me, bro, I've, I've been making music and I haven't really been making it in an album mixtape since. I've just been trying to make bodies of work and I let people call it what they want. Mm-hmm. But when we make them, bro, we want them from top to bottom be flawless. So right. The next thing, right to speak, that should be coming out like end of March, mm-hmm. and I hope to put maybe the album out in like you know September time. You but, co-write pretty much everything you do. Yeah, if I don't write the whole thing, I'll co-write it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I feel like it's just got to be real, man, or it doesn't make sense. How much of your new album is done already? In the the right to speak. Yeah, the right. Well, the uh, right to speak. That's a lot. That's we probably just need about two, three, two, three more joints. But we've just been getting them, and like I said, if I don't write on them, it's people send them in, and you know maybe I'll change a few words here and there to make it fit. The vibe, but yeah, we're we're pretty close to being done. I'm excited, man. It's really some dope, dope stuff. Now your TV show was nominated for multiple awards. Eleven Emmys. Eleven Emmys last year. So so, so let's ask... make it twelve this year. Okay, all right. <laughs> so how do you feel about the Oscars so white and, and a lot of people that are that uh, <laughs> black people not get nominated for Oscars? It's difficult, man. And it, it all comes down to me is to opportunities, mm. not in the same roles. You know what I'm saying? And it's very rare. I mean the the biggest leads that we had this year was you know. Um, was say Michael B. Jordan and Idris right. and even the little kid from Beast of No Nation mm-hmm. smashed it. He should have mm-hmm. been nominated. Right. But for me, it's opportunities, bro. We're not getting the same caliber roles to compete. And that's what I feel like it comes down to. And it's I'm thankful. Yeah, and I'm thankful for me that I'm able to play a role on TV that's not a gangster, that's not a thug, that ain't right. a crackhead, you know what I'm saying? And we can actually be an intelligent being on TV. And I feel like it's going to come, man. It's just we got to keep working. We got to keep pushing. And uh, yeah. And it is important Hopefully. to call people out on it. Too. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I def- yeah, I agree. Do you find it more difficult to get roles because you are a, a singer? Like, do they think it's, oh, he's just a singer, he doesn't take it serious? Um, I don't, I feel like it, I feel like it almost kind of started like that on American Crime when mm-hmm. I first went out there. And then episode three came right episode four and people were like, oh, he does this, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And that's just the go, like, you know, but definitely, definitely. I feel like people think that all the time. Because, you know, there's so many people that, right. you know, are just like, hey, just because I'm here, I want to do it. But I've been doing it, you know what I'm saying? And these are things that I take seriously in my life, my job, my career. So it's cool, though, man. Would you want to do, like, a biopic on any singer, if you could? Ooh, I would love to do, like, a Donny, Donny Hathaway type feel. Or, like, a, I don't know. Muhammad Ali, I'd really like, He's not a singer, but I would love to be Muhammad Ali. I could see that. That'd be dope. I'd be in that mood. <laughs> you might be too tall, though, I think. No, he's yeah. like six too. He he's like six two. Yeah. yeah, I got boots on today too. You gotta remember. So. Okay. I know I be tiring over you sometimes. Yeah, I know. yeah, if you go out for a tap dance movie, I'm gonna go out as well. So. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to. Yeah. Come you know on. what? You, I'll you be could... Gregory Hines. You be uh, what's his name? Save your Save your yeah. Yeah. No, I think he's too young. You could be like the dad that pushes his son to tap dance because you never made it. I don't want it, dad. <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> you better go in there. And tap You're a better man than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do what you want. I'm gonna work on the script. All these pictures are gonna pop up with me tap dancing. I know it. Did you have on a tutu? <laughs> I might, but I don't know. Now, we wear tuxes back there. Yo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we appreciate Please. you joining hey, us. Hey, man, thanks so much for having me on the show, bro. I definitely enjoy your guys's. You know what y'all do, so thanks for having me. And if you rape the kid in American Crime, Stop I'm gonna it. call you after. You gonna yes, please, please. We'll see, but we never know, man. You know, watch it. And look hey, for it's that, actually on tonight. It's on tonight. All right. Yeah, and yeah. look for that new song on Valentine's Day. The video's coming out. Yes, yes. Here I come. Uh, the video. Here I come. Why would you put that on on Valentine's Day? You about to smash her <laughs> mom? Jeez. Who knows if I smash her mom? This it ain't confirmed yet. We don't know. We seen the wink you gave out there. Yeah, but who knows what the wink means though? That can mean next time. That can mean are we did already? You know, you don't know. Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do not yet. I just... Where are you going to be? I don't know, man. Let me I, see what Zendaya, Zendaya's going to be. Gonna be <laughs> if y'all are together as quote-unquote squad on Valentine's Day, the, we don't believe you. That'll be the official, <laughs> official lie. No, um, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'll probably just chill. Are you going to send relax. out any presents? Or do you have anybody? I might do a show. I might, you know. Mm-hmm. I might do a little performance for the fans. Who knows? I might put out a new song other than Here I Come. Okay. I want that to be a day just for, for me to the fans. You, you know, better close Zendaya on Valentine's Day, man. You better, Ooh, who you you better send her something. I'm married. Oh, oh yeah, man. I, oh, I can't kids. get him. I can't <laughs> get him. I'm going to be with me. I'm going to All-Star. She's coming with me to All-Star. You are uh, such a bird. You're going to All-Star? With my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling me a bird. Yeah. Yeah, but you going to call Zendaya for Valentine's Day? 
Uh, you gonna I send? Mean, you gotta send her something. What am I gonna send her? What do you think is a great Valentine's Day present for her? Um, for a woman, and what's a good good gift for for somebody to give you for Valentine's? For Day? Valentine's Day, give me uh, any type of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love chocolates. Okay. Um, I don't know. Freaking Ninja Turtle shirt. I'm, I don't know, <laughs> Ninja man. Turtle shirt. Any, anything Ninja Turtles, bro. I'm rocking, dog. I'm telling you, I have a, I have a, a little obsession with Ninja Turtles, bro. Since I was little. But so if you role play with a girl and she dressed up. As no, that's the turn. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't dress do up. She, don't dress. Turtle, don't do the Ninja Turtle turtle. thing. I mean, it, you know. <laughs> So, Maybe if Rihanna did the when well, she did Ninja Turtles. She did that, yeah. She, she did that very well. <laughs> she did that dope. She did that very well. And she, she could definitely dress up. All right, so so you, February 14th, Valentine's Day, you calls in there. What do you say? <laughs> I'll say, yo, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? What? Who you with? And she's like, I'm waiting on you. I'll be like, oh, sorry. I told you. But that's not the case right now. Oh, wow. Uh, Ouch. She would never say that, though. All right. <laughs> you can ask her. Are we going to ask her? She's coming up here, I think, next week. Yeah, she's coming, too. So yeah, talk we're going to work it out. She already told me about the whole situation, so. Oh, did she? Yeah, so you guys did kiss. You lied, but it's okay. No. No, I'm kidding. I just wanted to kiss you. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> I tried it. That was cute, though. Hey, you need to be on American Crime. Look at that. She said, she said actually, she told me these. Things, <laughs> that was All right, impressive. Trevor Jackson. Hey, one Breakfast love, man. Club. Good Thank morning. you. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.